Good morning, masterminds. Good morning, Henry. California's primary election is today, June 5th, 2018. I will be going to the polls to vote. It'll be my first time voting in person. Yay. A few minutes later. I've successfully voted. Yay. I'm glad that at my polling place, the default voting method is by paper ballot. Using only the electronic voting machine is not good. It's prone to hacking, which happens a lot here in the US. Having a paper ballot trail protects your vote because you can go verify your vote at a later time. For local and state elections in California, by law, your ballot must be preserved for six months. For federal elections in California, by law, your ballot must be preserved for 22 months. I'm also glad that in California, there are no voter ID laws. All I had to show at the polling location to verify it was me was my voting information guide I got in the mail. My name was on the voting roll, so all I had to do was sign and write my address. Then I got to vote. The nice Filipino lady poll worker gave me my three page ballot and the rest is history. I completed my ballot in less than a minute. When I was finished marking the three pages of my ballot, I tore off the stubs on top of them and kept them. Then I put my ballot in a secrecy folder, walked over to the ballot box, then slid it in. In total, I was there for four minutes max. Yay. If you didn't know, I have a left wing political ideology. Some political buzzwords to describe me are lefty, liberal, progressive, I like that one, uh, democratic socialist, what else? Green. <laughs> I'm going to share with you some of who and what I voted for so you know I'm a true progressive and I stick to my values. For governor, I voted Josh Jones. For lieutenant governor, Gail McLaughlin. For secretary of state, Eric Rydberg. For controller, Mary Lou Finley. For treasurer, Kevin Aiken. For attorney general, Dave Jones. For insurance commissioner, Natalie Herizzi. For member of state board of equalization, Malia Cohen. For US senator, Allison Hartson. I voted to recall judge Aaron Persky. He's the judge that gave the Stanford rapist Brock Turner six months in jail, or is it prison? For Superintendent of Public Instruction, I voted Tony Thurmond. Um, what else? Measure 68, yes. Measure 69, yes. Measure 70, no. Measure 71, yes. Measure 72, yes. Regional measure three, yes, that's all I'll share. If you have progressive ideas and values, I'm going to support you. I'm tired of corporatism, I'm tired of fascism, I'm tired of neoliberalism, I'm tired of conservatism, I'm tired of incrementalism. I'm tired of being abused and forced to struggle in this country by all of the established systems. Capitalism, first past the post voting, our way of government. I vote to upend all this wrong we've allowed for so long. Stop giving up your interests, your position so easily, without a fight, without good reason. Stop voting for the lesser of two evils. That's a no-no. That's regressive. That's all I have to say for now, masterminds. The polls close at 8 p.m. That's in six hours, 40 minutes. I'll react to the mostly complete election results later tonight, and then hopefully in the next few days, I can talk about the final election results. We have to wait for the mail-in ballots to be counted for that to happen. Many unbearable hours later. It's 11.07 p.m. and it's still too early for me to give you an analysis of the election results. Precincts are still reporting and to get the official results we have to wait possibly weeks for the vote by mail ballots to be counted. Still, there's not much to celebrate here in California if you're a progressive. I mean, the results aren't that surprising considering that a lot of voters are gullible, stupid, evil. Yet again, I feel disappointed, disheartened. In a future vlog, I'll share my thoughts on the official election results. With that said, the vlog ends here. Thank you for watching, Masterminds. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, be smart for your heart. Good night.